Uh, so the first thing is this absolutely spectacular garnet and sterling silver necklace. I've had this for quite a while. Um, I got it at the flea market and it had a broken clasp and I just, it went in my to be fixed pile and just took, I can't believe I didn't like do it right away because I sure would have liked to have this listed sooner. But anyway, it's listed now and it is at a price of $249 free shipping. It's quite heavy. I believe I, I, it was like 65 grams of silver or something like that. But I don't know where it's from, but it looks like it could be um, Tibetan, Himalayan, maybe Indian. Not really sure, but it has that kind of tribal, exotic look to it. It's so pretty. The garnets are such a pretty color. And then I listed uh, this ruby, emerald, and sapphire ring, which is... I think it's kind of old. I'm just not really sure. It looks all handmade. The stones are not super good quality, but they are real. And it has like a this tiny little hallmark, which you're not going to be able to see, I don't think. Right on the bottom, it's right there. Uh, that I could just couldn't couldn't really figure out what it was. But anyway, I listed that for $49 free shipping. I listed this made in Japan. Celadon color vase. It's a very pretty graceful shape. I listed that for $16. And then this, uh, I'm getting ready to list this one. I haven't listed it quite yet. But this is a carved and painted gourd. And it's just spectacular. Look at the detail. Look at all these cute little animals. Um, that came from my sister-in-law and Rob saw that and he goes oh wait I remember seeing that in our house when I was a little kid <laughs> so I know it at least dates back to the 50s <laughs> anyway I don't know yet what the price is going to be on that I need to do a little more research um, it does have some condition issues but it's just so cool and I only have a couple of sales to show you I sold this copper tray by solid copper. <laughs> uh, anyway, that sold for 19 And then I have this fun little pair of glitter lucite earrings, and these sold for 18 So, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, so, these are the items that I listed yesterday. Um, this ring, which these stones turned out to be glass, so I probably paid a little much for this ring. I was kind of hoping they might turn out to be real. Um, I did pay $10 for this ring. It is sterling silver and it is old, so it's not so bad. I listed it for $29 free shipping, and I, I did sell another one very similar to this, exactly the same, fake stones and everything, for about that amount, so it should be okay. And then um, I listed this lovely Mexican pottery tonala pitcher with, I love the little deer, <laughs> but I found out, I started looking at it closer, and look, it is signed, and I found out who that artist is. It is Simeon Galvin, who's a very desirable uh, Mexican pottery artist from the 1950s and 60s, so um, I listed that for, I think, oh, I'll have to check again, $75, and then I just listed this Steuben vase. I wasn't successful in getting out all of the residue, because I guess this vase was used. Um, it will come out with the right tool. I need like a long, skinny, curvy thing with a sponge on the end to scrub it. And I just don't have the right thing. But other than that, it's in really good condition. And I listed that for $95. And the pitcher I listed for $65. Okay, I don't know why this is not coming into focus here, but um, I sold this, come on, this is weird, uh, I sold this little glass trinket box with a swan on it, glass and brass, um, sold that for $18, and I sold a silk, sorry, 
Okay, this is bothering me why it's not coming into focus. I have no idea. It's just getting worse. Okay, well, I'll have to figure this out. Uh, anyway, I uh, sold a silk, blue silk sari for $25. Not in the best condition, or I could have gotten a little more for it, I would think. Um, but it's already wrapped up. I wrapped it up before I even put it in inventory, so I will slip in a picture of it. Boy. There! Finally! That was weird. Good morning. It is Thursday morning, and I'm just going to show you a couple of things that I listed yesterday. I listed this awesome hand-painted leather item. I did a little research, and it was made by the Tuareg people of uh, the Northern African Desert, and they are part of a portion of the Berber people. And this is actually a camel saddle cushion cover. And you could just, you know, use it as a, a sofa cushion cover. Just stuff it and it's, it's got a really neat look to it. Look at the hand painting on there. Anyway, um, I listed that for $65. I listed this enamel necklace for 19 free shipping. Um, oh, where'd it go? Oh. And I listed this Siam silver brooch for uh, 22 free shipping. And um, this has some damage right there, and I, I touched it up with green nail polish. And, um, you know, from a distance, it actually looks fine. It's such a neat brooch. It's got the lightning goddess on it as well as a, a building and the green color is fairly unusual so anyway got that <laughs> so this is the graduation of my husband's cousin's son Ben Ooh, who we're actually very close to <laughs> yeah he's also his cousin, Rob reminded me, and he is the older brother who's yeah, <laughs> wearing the honorary hat. So this is the parking lot of the restaurant where we're having dinner with Ben, our graduate, and his family. And this is in beautiful, it's not downtown Burbank, it's beautiful Burbank though. It's really pretty. So this is the view from the patio where we're having dinner, and that is beautiful downtown Burbank. <laughs> I will tell you what's going on in just a minute. There are one, and these look, I think these are seed pearls of some sort. I don't know what sort, but they look nice. Mm -hmm. And I think they're more for a, like, a younger person. This, a smaller size is, and then I bought this. Black and white. Oh, that's pretty. Eight dollars. That's nice. And I'm not sure whether you wear it like a so or around the other way. Oh, maybe you could do it either way. Whatever your mood is that day. But, <laughs> or... I guess, no... I think the first way, because they're they're not all the same. Oh, yeah, because it drapes. I think that's nice. it. Okay. Look at that. And I that's got these nice. earrings for a dollar to wear with Oh, that. okay. Perfect. Yeah. 
And then I got a... Oak and Indian Arrowhead. Two dollars on a bolo that's... Oh! Oh, is it broken? Oh! The bolo is not... Oh! Oh! Oh, it's not too bad. No. Ah. You know, you could kind of glue that back together. Just put so? a little, yeah, put a little drop of of glue on that, and then you could get nail scissors and just like trim off anything that's okay. sticking out. Right. Yeah, I'll let you do that for me okay. because I'm not. That is not one of my <laughs> skills. Okay. Okay. So that's it? that is it. Oh, and I've been buying some things this week, so let me show you those. Good morning. It is Saturday morning, and I'm going to show you what I'm packaging up to ship. Uh, these are sales that have occurred over the past couple of days, mostly yesterday. I had a bunch of sales yesterday. Um, and the first thing is this Bible. Oops. Hold on. There we go. Uh, and this Bible with the 1908 inscription in it, and the incredibly tiny, tiny type, sold for $24. And uh, this beaded necklace, you might remember I sold this just recently uh, before, but it was returned because the, um, the customer liked it, but she uh, said it was too short for her. So she returned it, and it immediately sold again, which is good. And that sold for $28. Uh, this rhinestone necklace with the pink Aurora Borealis, so pretty. Um, and that one sold for $48. Uh, this is a turquoise and sterling silver Native American, most likely, piece. A huge piece of turquoise. And that one sold for $65. And this is a pewter bracelet with an art glass stone. Nice kind of modernist looking cuff. And that one sold for $39. And this is another Native American piece, a little chip turquoise inlaid turtle, sterling silver. And he sold for $48. And I think that's it.